Hey everybody, David R. Becker here with Becker Art. Today I want to talk to you about towels. Yes, I said towels. Um, and also these pads. I'm going to just talk to you about what I'm using them for. I use them for putting underneath my watercolors. And let me just show you what I'm talking about. So if you've ever watched any of my programs on my videos in the evening, I always um, have a towel lately underneath my workspace. And um, as you can tell, I've used this one quite often. <laughs> I try to use like one or once or twice um, a video, and but then I go and wash them and stuff. But what I really love about them, and I'll tell you in a little bit, um, that the fact that um, they're just white for one, and I don't have to have a paper, piece of paper towel in my hand. And later on, I'll show you how, why, and um, how I use this. But basically, it's just a towel, like any kind of towel. This one has a little bit of a pattern on it. I buy most of these at um, Goodwill, you know, or, or if I find a good deal at you know, a garage sale or anything. Um, sometimes even when I'm out there, I'll just buy some brand new ones from like if I see there's a sale at, at a Myers or a Walmart or whatever, I'll buy one. And I've got about 20 of them now. And so when, I, when they're all used up like that one is, I go get a new one. I went of my newer ones that I washed and then, you know, I just put it back out on my tabletop. And, um, you know, this one was used before, but you can tell it's, it comes out pretty much, but not all the way, you know, it's like, cause I'm using some staining color sometimes. And so, but look at how nice it is. And I go back on there and just, um, get going for another nice new thing. And so the, you know, also, um, somebody told me about if you're on the, on the go and you don't have one with you, go and get yourself some of these pet pads, these training pads, um, for dogs or cats or whatever they use them for. And I had no, no idea they even had something like this until last year and uh, this year at Dillman's. Somebody told me about that. And so I, I bought them. I went out and got one and um, they're pretty cool. So basically they're like a, you know, throwaway towel. But I mean, look at this. You know, so um, you just put it out there and it absorbs really well. So, you know, you lay your painting on there then. You lay your whatever painting you're going to start. And the nice thing about working on a towel or on one of these pads is that you don't have to have a paper towel in your hand. And let me show you how I've gotten so used to this now that I don't like to have a paper towel in my hand and I just like to paint right away with the with the paint and paper and just, you know, and I don't also use tape anymore. Like I used to tape my things down to a board, but this is, it just sits on there and I can go over it and it absorbs it as soon as I hit it on the outside. So I'll take like a color. I'll just put like my palette here for a second. And, um, you know, it just absorbs really well. So first I'll try to show you on, on the pad here. And so let's take a bright color so you can see what it's happening. So when I'm going across it and stuff and like I go over this side, see how it absorbs it into there? And it doesn't run back either like you would with a board sometimes. Sometimes with a board, you get it so that it feels like, you know, it, it runs back when you put the tape on it. So I don't tape down my stuff anymore. And when I hit the edge of it, it just bleeds right into the towel. Now it's going to give you a line around it that's going to be dark, but that's okay. And this absorbs a lot of water. So you can get in there with a lot of water. So isn't that cool? I mean, and then also when I'm picking up some paint in my palette, a lot of times what I like to do is if I don't want it too wet, I want to pick up pure pigment. I go into my palette, pick up pigment on one side and then tip over my brush and then take the water out on this side. That way it's not as wet. My brush is not as wet. I can do hard edges and I'm using thicker pigment. Because sometimes to pick up the pigment, you need to wet the pigment a little bit. But then sometimes it's too wet on here because when it's wet in the wet, you know, they have too much water. So you take the one side, put the paint on the one side of your brush, take the other side, rub it down onto the palette. And this absorbs really well. So it'll take the water out, leaving the paint on this side, and then go ahead and paint on there. So really kind of a neat, neat thing. And other than normally you would do that in your hand, you know, when you have like paper towel. And this is just one more thing you don't have to have in your hand. And so you can use your hand to do other things and, you know, or just leave it there. <laughs> and so another thing I like to do is on, so normally I would take the pads with when I'm on like, you know, going away and in my classrooms and stuff, I'll bring this sometimes. But now I also bring my paper towel or my towels. And so the towels are just as good. Um, these, uh, I've never tried to wash them or anything because I'm not sure if you can wash these the, the throwaway pads because they're made for training pads for, for puppies, I guess. But, um, you know, it's, uh, you can use this also, but I like kind of use like the, the paper towel that, or I mean the paper towel, but I like using the towels, like the bath towels 
and I like them big enough and um, those these pads they're okay but they only make certain sizes and so if you want a really nice big one get a beach towel you know if you're working like a big area working a big painting and so really again you know when I go in there and I you know put my water down and I take it let's take a little bit different color here again when I go over I go like this and I go over it a little bit it just goes right into the towel and that way the water doesn't seep back into the painting which is really a good thing and so I just kind of when I'm painting I just go like that and again when I just take a lot of paint and I feel like there's too much water in my brush I just rub it here on one side use the other side to lay down the paint it's a really fun exercise to do and a neat, neat way of painting and by having this down here I have it everywhere on my whole paper so wherever my brush is at at the time like over here I'm picking up this and I feel it's like oh shoot too much I'll just rub it off like this you know just rub it and my brush is clean again you know so they the towel looks after, really dirty after a while but it comes out in the laundry really easily take all your white towels throw them into the into the wash you know bleach them and, then, and they're fine for next time I mean I really really I started doing this back when I was uh, during COVID there was I my, my studio and I used to put down sheets of paper like I had a roll of paper that I put down each each film I would do another I would just pull out and rip it off and throw it away and all the paper I, I would go through like rolls of paper because I'm just using it but this is like you know it's very economical because you just wash it and you have you know I have about 20 of them now I said and so I every I wash them like maybe every three months because it, I you know I use it until it's pretty dirty and I don't want to have it that dirty anymore and so I want a new one especially when I'm filming I kind of want a new one each time but yeah so um it's just to me it was not having to have paper towel in my hand not spending so much money on paper towels all the time and all the paper on the top of my palette and this is so nice to like to just kind of take the br the water out of your brush and then paint you know so it's just I've gotten so used to it and I've totally forgot about last week when i was filming on my thursday night i just realized that i've never talked about it um i always say i always tell people that i'm doing it but i've never thought I told them why or you know whatever it was that about how much i like these paper or the towel now the towels instead of having paper towel in my hand when now when i do put paper towel in my hands when i'm out outside i don't even use paper towels anymore i use hand cloths and um, I've gotten so used to the towels and even when I'm outside playing or painting I don't use um, I don't use a big towel like this because I'm working upright but I, I need something to have a towel so I take hand um, wash towel washcloth and I put it on my palette and that's kind of like makes makeshift of what this is you know like this is a towel I can just put my brush there and get rid of the paint in my brush or the water in my brush I can just wipe the brush like this you know and then go ahead and paint and if i feel like i want to get it off of there a little bit so i've gotten really used to having a towel on my paint surface and so like i said you can either use a towel or those um little potty pads that you get for dogs they work just as good but i would recommend the towel because you can wash them over and over again instead of just doing the pads and then throw them away so it's just something to be um make the world a better place again we're always trying to recycle but this is a great thing to do just wash them in and you just keep on going and now if you're if you're an acrylic artist or if you're an oil painter i wouldn't recommend it as much because i have done it with acrylics and after a while i just do this but then they get hard and it doesn't come off you know not not, not like watercolor if you're a watercolor painter it works really fine and it's it's basically i have to use it now all the time i really love having my paper towel or not my paper towel <laughs> my, my bath towel underneath my work it just is something that if I don't have it there, I miss it a lot. And I even take a rolls of to uh, paper towel and bend them over and just put them on there so that again, I can just do all the rubbing of my brush anywhere on this area. So give it a shot, see what you like, see if you like it. Um, I think you will. And again, you're not gonna spend that much money on paper towel anymore either. So it's a win-win it's a for everything, all right? So meet me here on Thursday when we're going to be doing a plain air, not a, not a plain air. We're going to be doing our paint along and it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be here. I'll be back. I'm going to Kentucky for the next three or four days to do a workshop there, but I'll be back to do my paint along. And on Sunday, I'll probably be doing it from a hotel room. My, my Sunday, Sunday demo with David, that's going to be probably be in a hotel room this coming Sunday. All right. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.